So in this video, I'm gonna give you some of my tips uh, for drawing faces. And these are just kind of little preferences I have when I start drawing a face, so let's get started. Uh, first, I'm gonna kind of talk about uh, female faces and some of the things I've learned or things I enjoy or like uh, when I draw a female face. So generally, I always start out with like an oval like this. And if I know I'm drawing a girl, I'll draw the chin a little bit pointier, um, and I can kind of uh, change that a little bit as I do my darker lines later, but I generally have a kind of, I don't know, pointier jawline, pointier chin. Uh, the second thing I do is I draw in the chin. If I'm drawing a male, uh, actually I'll draw the, the guy head right next to this one, and so you can kind of see maybe how I approach the two differently. So you, right away you can see I make the chin a lot wider, uh, a little bit more masculine. The head shape up top doesn't really have to change. So, uh, And then for the chin, it's more of a space like this. Uh, so once I have that in, I generally put where the, the mouth line, uh, whether I want them smiling or sad, uh, that's where I'll determine this, or even open, if I want an open mouth. Uh, for both these, I'll do kind of like a smiling face or just indifferent. So I'll just kind of do a straight across line. Now for the girl's face, I tend to make the line closer to the chin, like down here. And the guy uh, can be kind of anywhere, but I like to make the girl's uh, mouth a little bit closer. So, and I try and just try and go right about here. As you can tell with this, I'm not doing any like guidelines on this. Uh, I haven't done those in a long time. I just kind of go by feel. So um, then the next thing I might add in is where the nose goes. And for the nose, I always start out with just two little nostril lines. Um, and for the girl, I like to keep them pretty close to the lips. And for the guy, it can change anywhere depending on what type of guy I want to draw. Uh, let's say I want kind of like a more Hulk guy. I'll move the nose up higher from the lips, closer to where I know the eyes are going to be. And a lot of times then I'll put in my eye line, just so I have a guide. I don't want to make the nose too long, um, so I'll kind of get a feel for the overall size of the head and where I think the eyes should be. But generally your eyes should be right in between the top and bottom. Um, obviously if you're drawing creative characters and stuff like that, sometimes that can change. Now for the nose on the guy, um, this, I can do any kind of shape, any kind of nose, but for girls, I like to keep it pretty simple. I just think uh, simple nose is a little bit better. Now, a lot of times I'll draw a little line across here, like this, and that's where the nose kind of dips down a little bit. And I might shade that in, depending on what kind of drawing. I've been doing a lot of ink drawing lately, um, and I'll do that line on the guy's nose too, if I'm doing pencil, so that I can like shade it in. A lot of times I'll do like a drop shadow on the nose to show that it's kind of coming out like that. Uh, then I like to kind of draw in where the brow is on both like that. And for me, I would prefer the eyes not to be too big. Sometimes I'll just do little circles like this. And I'll do the details in later. And this guy's, like I said, this is going to be more like a Hulk type guy. His nose is real close to his eyes. Um, I mean, I can make him uh, a lot better looking by changing some of the features around. But I feel like with the guy faces, I, I get a little bit more, I'm a little bit more free to change things around a bit. But girls, I keep pretty, um, pretty standard on what I do. A lot of times I'll draw in the eyelashes next, like this. the lower lash line and this right here where I'm drawing the pupils in and um, the iris and stuff I can have her looking in different directions stuff like that then I'll kind of get dark with the eyebrows and then I might draw in 
especially if I'm doing pencil, I'll draw in some, like the forehead, where the forehead uh, starts to shift back, like this. And the reason I do that is for lighting. So if my light is coming over here, this will be in light. And I know to shade this side because it's going away from the light. And then I'll draw in the cheekbones, like so. And I do this real lightly because these lines, I don't want a lot of lines on my girl faces. Uh, I like to keep them as clean as possible. I just feel like it, um, if you have too many lines in there, it just doesn't look as pretty, I don't think. Um, but again, so seeing the skull underneath the face, this bone right here, the cheekbone kind of comes into the jaw like that. Again, with girls though, I don't like to draw these in. I do with my guys though. So for a guy face, I'll kind of do this, draw the draw bone or the cheekbone going into the jawbone. And a lot of times I accentuate this right here, uh, kind of the muscles that attach to the upper jaw. You can kind of see that it looks a lot like a skull right here. And that really helps me determine my lighting, um, where lighting is gonna be. So let's draw his eyes in a little better. And a lot of times I'll do these real dark uh, where the eyes recess on my guys. Draw on some eyebrows. And then do the same thing I did on the girl with this up here. I do a lot more line work uh, on my male faces than I do for my females. Like I said, I just like to keep the girl faces real simple. And I'll do different things on the eyes. I'm not really showing those right now, but like I got a little bit heavy on this outside thing right here. On <laughs> this guy, I normally don't do that. These are normally, I do like crow's feet on my guys. So let's get rid of that. Cause it makes him look like he's got eye makeup on. And I don't want to do that. Okay, like I said, I like to kind of, and then I'll kind of square up the jaw on the guy even more, like make these really hard edges, maybe even dip it in a little bit right here, and then give him a real thick jaw. And then I draw on the lips. Guys, I do real thin upper lips sometimes, if not any at all, uh, but then I'll do the lower lip line because there's a shadow that happens here where your lip dips down and then the chin kind of protrudes. Also with drawing faces, the the chin, you can see the bottom half of the chin. This is a circle right here. So when I'm shading these, a lot of times on the guys, I'll shade the jaw in like this and I'll do kind of like a line just below the chin because it doesn't, this part doesn't stick out um, far enough for light to hit it, especially if light's coming down like this. So you always have a little bit of a shadow under your chin right here, and then under the lip. Well, depending on your light source, but a lot of times I'll do these little lines right there. And I'll draw in the edges of the nostrils on the guys. Sometimes I do on the girls, just depends on my preference at the time. I'll shade this in over here. And I don't worry about hair until last. So you can kind of see how I'm just thinking about where the skull is. Uh, guys, I tend to give bigger eyebrows to instead of real thin on fleek eyebrows. <laughs> My wife's laughing at me for saying that. Is that right? On fleek? It's awesome though. It is? Okay. So she's laughing at me. So anyway, so then the neckline come down like that. Now I'm gonna draw, finish drawing the girl face. Again, sometimes I'll look at it and move that chin up a little bit. But I like to put that bottom lip in there. Big lips are, are good, right? And a big upper lip. Draw that in now. And the upper lip should be a little bit darker than the lower lip because, especially if your light is coming in like this, um, 
it doesn't get as much light because it recedes into your mouth. Chin comes up like this. And I want these, the jawline to be real rounded, um, more feminine. Then I'll draw the eye, uh, the ears in, just off the jawline, a little bit lower. And the ears I use as an identifier for um, how the head is tilted. Like if she's looking up, the ears will be um, lower. But if she's looking down, the ears will be higher. So I definitely use ears to kind of um, show that a little bit better. And then obviously a much thinner neck. Come down like that. And I always do quite a bit of shadow on the neck just to show the face, accentuate the face kind of coming out off of it. So, uh, and a lot of times I will just go back through and erase out all these other lines, keep it nice and clean. So those are a couple real simple faces. You can kind of see how I approach it. Um, I hope that is kind of helpful. Uh, I mean, these are pretty simple faces. I didn't get too detailed with them, but that's definitely how I approach drawing a face. Uh, right over here, maybe I'll just draw in. Um, can kind of watch a time lapse of a larger face real quick, but you'll see that I just kind of take the same approach as these two. So let's do that real quick. I don't know if I'm gonna do a time lapse. Maybe I'll just do it real time. So you can actually see me draw it and I'll talk through it a little bit again. So this is gonna be a girl's face. So again, a little bit pointier chin. When I'm drawing in my oval, draw in the chin, circle right there. The mouth line will make her smiling. So I'm just gonna draw just a smile, a simple like smiley face smile on there. That's my line that I'm gonna use. Uh, and I'll try and remember where, how big I wanna make the lips. So if I make the lip, bottom lip line right here, you know, that gives me, I can always move the chin up a little bit if I feel like the chin is too long. Like I said, preference wise, I just prefer the chin to be closer to the lips just for me. Even though in reality, if I were drawing real people, everybody's different and everybody's lips are different or everybody's facial structure is different. Some people have really long chins and look very beautiful, so it's just a simple preference I have. So on this one you can see I just kind of drew in the lips real quick. Now I'm going to draw the, that nose line again, right like that. Just the two little nostril lines and then my bridge line across the top. And then Draw in the eyes. Eyes are about halfway down the head. So right about there. Draw in the bridge of the nose. I, I always I like to make the eyes a little bit farther apart. And this this head's a little bit bigger, so I can get a little bit more detailed with um, some of the structure and stuff. So, so you can kind of see some. Uh, I like to draw this line where the skin kind of overlaps the eye right here. See, it comes in like that. And then the eye, the skin is the eyelid that kind of like is tucked up above it. So I'll draw that in sometimes like that. Come down with this line. Depending on the makeup style of the face, I tend to, um, I'll, I like to do just kind of a dark uh, eyeliner on this bottom outside edge and keep this real light on the inside, but sometimes I'll just do dark all around, um, depending on how dramatic I want to make the makeup. So this one, we'll give her kind of like a surprise look. So I'll move the eyebrows up a little bit like that. It's pretty high but you know I like to accentuate those sometimes really uh, give them some personality I guess 
That's a little bit high for my taste, but I probably should change that, but I'm not going to. So then again, I'll draw in the forehead so I know that it, where my light source is coming up from one of these sides will probably be darker. I'll draw in my cheekbones. And always remembering like, you know, your eye recesses like it's a hole in your head. So I try and remember that kind of stuff based on the skull. So cheekbones, the mouth attaches right here. And again, I'll probably get rid of all those lines. I'll do the ears real quick. And when I draw in the hair, sometimes I get rid of all this. I mean, the hairline can start anywhere. We'll do kind of a big, poofy, uh, Little Mermaid style hair on her. And a lot of these things, like these things I call tips, are just um, just style choices that I've made. And these change, these evolve for sure for me. Um, they're not the same as they've always been. And then again, get rid of some of these lines, don't want to make it look too sleepy. <laughs> so, but I feel like, you know, when it's all said and done, that is, and I'll think about where the shadows are from the hair too, knowing that the head really recedes back over here and on the jawline. I'm going pretty quick, but just trying to remember where my light is coming from. So this one it would be up here. The neck would have shadow on this side. Long neck so that's pretty much it uh, don't want to get too crazy with this video these are just kind of like I said tips style preferences that I have um, I hope you guys got something from this video I you know I get requests for these a lot these tips for drawing videos and it's always hard for me because uh, I, I'm not doing, I'm not a teacher, I'm not an instructor. So uh, any, anything I teach you in these, these are just preferences of mine. Uh, there's a lot of awesome YouTube videos out there on drawing uh, faces and the proper way and the way it's taught in art schools and stuff like that. So that's not what I'm doing here. I feel like, you know, there's enough of those videos on YouTube already. Uh, so these are just kind of my little preferences, little things that I think about when I draw a face. So I hope you guys like the video and thanks for watching.